Real Animals Fishing Show is presented by Mosaic, helping the world grow the food it needs. And by Yellowfin Yachts. Hey gang, today I'm in beautiful Horseshoe Beach, Florida. My good friend Captain Lisa Fitzgerald, Captain Danny Allen's taking her and I fishing. Whatever you do, don't touch that dial. It's going to be off the hook. Danny took us on about a two and a half mile run here, just as calm a conditions as you could ask for here this spring. It's absolutely gorgeous in here, super low water, tides coming up, great conditions here. The fish are going to be working their way up to these shorelines. We're going to try and sneak in here real quiet. We've got the trolling motor, power pole, everything kind of set. No breeze, like I said, great, great conditions, beautiful morning. Hopefully we can ambush some of them big reds this morning. Is there a tide that you like better than the others up here in Horseshoe Beach, Beach, Danny? It varies with, with what's going on. You know, they, and, and, and it seems like the moons have something to do with it too. Some moons, seems like big high tides are better. And so no, they don't, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. There you go, fish on, baby. I seen him tracking it. Nice. There Swimming he is. Swimming caffeine shad. There you David go. Ooh. Ooh, he's a big one too, son. I seen him good. Oh, don't you do it. They're mm. ready to feed. Oh, well, that he one was, jumped off. He was over actually this. on that one. Yeah, he tracked it off yeah, that flat. Yeah, he sure did. He's, I mean, he's a good one. A good one? A good one. Oh, he's beautiful. <laughs> he's eat up with that red too. Look at that pretty, yeah, that pretty Ooh. color. Hey. Look at that a boy. Ah. Light tackle too. The scene. New signature series rod. Yeah, on. absolutely. He's got that bull bay feel to it. He lumped it. Stay out from underneath that boat. I know what you want to do. Get mm -hmm. back over here. Uh huh. Bull bay rod wasn't having it, was it? No. Mm -mm. Not today, anyway. Mm -mm. There we go. You got him in the nose. You see that? Yep. Put his nose on it and whacked him, big dog. Very good, very good, Mike. Look at that, huh? That's why you come right here. Look at that bronze bomber early in the morning, huh? There you go. Caffeine shad. Yep, swimming caffeine shad. Drove Get that crazy. paddle tail. With all those mullet in here working, that's exactly why we went to that bait this morning. Flashes just like a little Peter mullet up in there. <laughs> <laughs> had to have it. He nice had to job, have it. Danny Allen. Yes, sir. All right, now you guys can catch one. <laughs> Nice job, yeah, big buddy. guy. There you go. Well, that's the way to start the morning, my friend. Give me some of that fish line. Thank yes, you, sir. sir. I'm going to try a little top water pup, uh, pup, little top pup, um, because it's so slick and quiet in here this morning. It's really, there's no wind, there's a little bit of current, and it's just we're the only ones out here. And we're having a little problem with distance on some of these fish. We're seeing fish, but we're, we're having problems reaching them before they're spooked, before they know about us. So I'm just gonna kinda try a little reaction strike scenario, see if I can get another 15 foot of my cast with the plug and uh, go from there, see if that helps us. We worked the first cove really hard, covered a lot of water, bounced through there a bunch of times, a lot of redfish shooting in and out. We were able to pull just one big fish out of there, probably gave it a couple of hours. That tide's really come up now. Danny wants to go to some spots that he's had some luck where the tide's a little bit higher. We're a couple of days in front of the full moon, so 
Those tides, even though we got good moving water, it's hard to tell what the fish did overnight. That bright moon, fish like to feed at night. A lot of times that bite can be a little tough until midday or even the afternoon. So on these days, you gotta just keep working at it, working at it, working at it, picking away to put your day together. Oh. Good job, boy, Danny. nice fish. That a boy, ooh, good fish, Danny. That a boy. I gotta get him over all this yeah, somehow. I know it. You will, you'll get it over. Oh. I got faith in you, cuz. That white paddle tail is really, really hard to beat when you're working a lot of mullet. I believe I might have matched you. I think you did too. It looks like I think about the a twins. twin. Yeah, it looks like a twin, don't it? Good looking fish right there. Horseshoe Beach, same color too. Oh you know, my real God. bright and eating a lot gorgeous. of crustaceans. Comfortable fish. Actually, I gotta be honest with you, I think he might be just perfect slot fish. A little smaller than mine, you I think? I think he's a little smaller than yours, but I think he'd win money where yours would just hurt feelings. <laughs> no, that's, you think that's a slot fish? I do think so. Uh, probably, if it is, it's right there. If it's on the money, that's an amazing fish. Yeah. You don't think that fish is oversized? <laughs> yeah, now that he gets out of the water, I do. You oh think? my God. Oh, he's going back in the no, drink. I got him. He got him. Drink. I got him. He clobbered that white paddle tail. There you go, look at that bad boy right there, huh? That is why you come right there. Look at that beauty, huh? Ooh, daddy boy. Nice job, buddy. The Real Animals Fishing Show, tip of the week, is brought to you by Mosaic. Hey gang, this week's tip of the week, I want to introduce you to a very good friend of mine, Captain Lisa Fitzgerald. We've been friends for a long, long time, fishing against one another. Uh, on the Redfish Tournament Trail, and Lisa's with CCA Florida and the CCA Star Tournament. Lisa, tell us about the CCA Star Tournament. Well, Mike, this is one of the most angler-inclusive tournaments in the state of Florida. We have 108 days of fishing, starting Memorial Day, May 23rd, through Labor Day, September the 7th. It has a signature division, which is tagged redfish. The FWC will be releasing 80 tagged redfish from Pensacola all the way to the Florida Everglades. The first six tagged redfish caught win a brand new boat, motor, and trailer valued at $50,000. Probably got a better chance of winning that than you do the lottery. Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> now I will tell you, there's some other really cool divisions. We've got an open division, which includes cobia, snook, spotted trout, and sheephead. If you catch those fish, you just enter them into the tournament. It's not the biggest fish that wins. Right. It is a photo tournament, so it's a catch photo tournament. It doesn't matter what size, as long as it's a legal fish, you can enter it. There are six places paid in each of those species. We've also got a guides division. We've got a kayak, ladies, and youth division. In the youth division, we have $100,000 in college scholarships. The entry for youth is free as long as they're a CCA member. All it's, they have to do is get in the tournament. All they have to do is in the tournament. register in the tournament and they have the opportunity to win either two $25,000 scholarships or 10 of $5,000 scholarships. That's awesome. CCA really getting involved with this tournaments and these tournaments have been going on for years and years in Louisiana and Texas and exactly very popular. exactly 25 years in Louisiana and Texas and I just tell you they have 45,000 anglers that participate in that tournament last year their star tournament they had 11 tagged redfish that were caught they'd only released between 50 and 60 wow. 11 that were caught Sad part of that is only four of them wound up being winners because they weren't registered See, in the I think tournament. that would be the worst, to, to <laughs> catch a tag redfish in the tournament yeah. and they're like, I meant to do that, I meant to register yeah. for the tournament. You know, you just have to be a CCA member, register for the tournament, registration is open now. You can go online and find us at www.ccaflstar.com, get registered. As soon as April 1st rolls around, you can pick up your verification uh, official measuring device at any of our verification locations which will be up and down the coast look for it on the website good good stuff it's a great opportunity too if you're not a member of cca i highly recommend you become one cca does so many great things for our fishery this is a good opportunity to join cca fish the cca star tournament get involved we need your help that's your tip of the week real animals tip of the week brought to you by mosaic Danny caught a really nice fish on the last spot. We've gone to the north to some areas that he found some fish while he was scouting. Up to the north here, we may run into a few more trout, at least that's what we're hoping for. 
We'll see how things go. Again, we're a couple of days in front of the full moon, so those tides, even though we got good moving water, it's hard to tell what the fish did overnight. That bright moon, fish like to feed at night. Fishing's a little tough today, but the water's moving good. One of these two tides should produce. Oh, nice trout. Isn't that a trout? Mm -hmm. That's a big trout. Big, big trout. That was what we were getting short strikes. Atta boy, Danny Allen. Go, Danny Allen. I'm gonna get out of your way. Got some grass Gorgeous. on top here. Boy, big fish, Danny. Look at that beast there, huh? Get my hand good and wet here. I'm gonna let you go. So fussy. So fussy. <laughs> so fussy. I'm we'll just, we'll just gonna show you off. Look at that, huh? That a boy, Danny. Nice fish. Beautiful trout. Yeah. 20 inch? Oh yeah, 20 inch fish. Big old yellow mouth. That a boy, kid. Thanks, sir. That white color, kid. Oh boy, that's why we come right there. So you, you let me catch the first one, and then you're just gonna put it on me from there on out, is yeah, it? Yeah, I believe it. That's how this is going to go? Yeah, I think it's probably best if that's the way it ends up. I think that white color is kind of key. That is a beautiful trout. Oh my gosh. There we go. No, nice fish. Got the, got the hook. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Swims off unharmed. Didn't even have to touch the fish. So, nice job, Danny. Yes, sir. Really a really cool tool that everybody should have, every angler should have a D hooker. They work great on catfish and things like that too, but when you're into a bunch of trout, you know you're not gonna keep them, try to handle them as little as possible, hit them with the D hooker, that hook comes right out, simple. Way less there mortality. There we go. Come on, Lisa, come on, Lisa. It's a baby red, he's skiing. Right. You're on the board though. You gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere, you gotta get on the board, that's all there is too. We appreciate you not beating up on Danny and I. I'm just letting you guys go. Right I'm just making here. you look good. I got the deal making you look good. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, we've caught, we've caught a couple of big reds. Now we've caught some nice trout. We saw some more trout too. So, you know, that's the sign of a healthy fishery. That's what we want to see in the fishery. We want to see these fish that are little too, because these are our future fish right here. So cute. Real Animals Tackle Box presented by CCA Florida and the CCA Star Tournament. In today's Real Animals Tackle Box, Lisa, Danny, and I are using 7 foot 2 inch AR15 medium fast action spinning rods by Bull Bay. We're using Quantum Smoke PTS40 spinning reels with 15 pound braided line and 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. We were throwing Strike King KVD swimming caffeine shads in pearl with a chartreuse and red quarter ounce Strike King jig head. Real Animals Tackle Box is brought to you by Quantum, the real choice for the real animals. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. Mirror Lure, the record setters. Ingle Coolers, the first, the best, your last. Bull Bay Rods, combined with original Fuji guides for a difference you can feel. Real Animals Tackle Box presented by CCA Florida, and the CCA Star Tournament. We got moving water here, rocky bottom, hard shell. We got a lot of mullet in the area. Seems to be where we're finding these fish kind of concentrated, right off a point. Creates a nice little ambush point for them. Having our best luck again with a, with a paddle tail, small mullet imitator. Get that wiggle going in the water, little white flash. Almost all of our bait fish inshore flash white. That's why white is predominantly my favorite color. The swimming caffeine shad has this extended body. It's a four inch bait, so you get a lot more action on the back side right there. I think that helps when the bite's a little tougher. Hey, 
ahead, trout. Trout, That's nice good. trout. There you go, swinging head around. 22, 23. Yeah, nice oh fish. Oh my nice gosh, fish, that's big, that's fish. the big one. Yeah, that one's a good one there. Yeah, buddy. That one's a dandy right oh there. Oh my gosh. Look at that, look at now that. Now that is a monster. Huh? Ooh. <laughs> wow. Nice fish, Danny. Nice, nice fish. fish, Mike. Oh, you put me on him. I know, I'm gonna catch him. I'm just saying. Wow, look at that. That one is a PIG hog. There we go. Big redfish, big trout. What a great fishery you had, Danny. Look at that thing. 25, 26 inches probably? 20, 24, 25, definitely. It's got big yeah. shoulders on it. Yeah. Been eating up here the most. Just mullet. about can put a hand in there. Yeah. Just about. Big old yellow mouth, big old head. Pretty fish. He oh, is. Boy. He is as long as my arm, just about. <laughs> yeah. Minus an inch and a half or so. Woo! Oh, boy, big dog. Thanks, sir. That's a big sucker. Absolutely crazy. Did you see that? Absolutely jumped all over that paddle bait. Unreal. <laughs> Splashed me from one end to the other, too. <laughs> oh, that's all right. We'll take that, We'll right? take that all day long. boy, kid. Yes, sir. Coming right over the top of them rocks. A little speedier retrieve because this bottom is real rocky, and it just lumped it. So what we've got here is a pretty good bite. Uh, they seem to be lazy, though, so I'm trying to entice them a little bit by putting some scent on there. That's Procure Shrimp. Put it on there and work it a little slow. Make sure you put it in the nice uh, crevices and, and openings and it exudes a little bit of smell when it's in the water. I know you want some more big redfish, which is cool too. We can oh, catch some of them. That? There's some trout right there. Yeah. Nice fish right there. Had a girl. Good job, Lisa. He's not that, that big, but he's good. What do you mean he's not that big? That's a beautiful trout. Nice fish, Lisa Fitzgerald. Nothing wrong with that trout there at all. Nothing wrong with that Look trout at that. right there. Uh, Pretty fish. I'm gonna just lay you up here so we can get a look at you. Gorgeous fish. Real pretty, nice. huh? Thank you. You're welcome, huh? That's Strike Dan King. Captain Danny Allen's what that is. Strike King swimming Captain Shad. If you're on that little mullet bite, it's Yay. a pretty tough bait to beat. Yes, sir. I'm Hannah. a big fan. Hi, girl. Hi. Woo. Hi, girl. Nice. Yeah, a little trout. Not a boy. I'm going to play along. Came right out of that deep cut right there. Not a bad fish either. No, not a bad fish. There ain't been a bad trout out here yet. Well, perfect release. Right there you go. The boat, huh? I didn't even have to get hand, my hands wet. Perfect with. CCA release right there. Didn't even have to touch it. We're gonna keep it anyway. Closed captioning brought to you by Gator Ford. The Real Animals Hook It and Cook It brought to you by Rumfish Grill at the Guy Harvey Outpost. I'm at the Rum Fish Grill on St. Pete Beach. Chef Aaron, what are we cooking today? We're gonna do some snapper. We're gonna saute that. Uh, do a quick braise with some grape tomatoes and fennel. Kind of a Mediterranean feel to it. Ooh, sounds great. The snapper is going to get seared. We want to get a little bit of color on the skin side. Go skin side down. Yep. All right, the idea is we're going to flip this over now that it's got nice. some color on it. It's not your first time. No. So we'll do that. We can get away with that. Now we're going to do some fennel jalapeno cinnamon stick, fennel seeds, bay leaf, and here we have some thyme and some mint, some uh, basil, a little grape tomato, whole pieces of lemon, and we're going to finish this with a little bit of uh, fish stock, and then we'll add our olive oil, some white wine, capers, banana peppers, so many flavors. Olive oil. And let this come together and we're all finished. TV doesn't do this justice because the smells are absolutely driving me crazy. Well, well done, Chef. Thank you so much. Nice work, nice work. For this recipe and more, go to our website. The Real Animals Hook It and Cook It, brought to you by Rumfish Grill at the Guy Harvey Outpost. 
and your trout fishery is in really good shape. <laughs> Seen a lot of big fish today. Well, you know, the trout fishery is in such good shape because they had the net ban. Oh, there's no doubt. Directly attributed to some pretty hard efforts of the Conservation yeah, Association. Yeah, absolutely. You bet. I can't believe it took that long to get the net ban in place. Well, you know, we just had it come back up on the table. Yes, we did. We were able to defeat that again, but that's because we have such a great member resource, and it takes a lot of money. It takes membership. Yeah, it really does. There is a nice trout. Really nice, nice trout. Fish. The pile. I got you. I got you. I got you. Get your fish. He's in the trolling motor. Good it. job, Danny. That a boy, D. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> I didn't even get that. I got this if you want them. Go ahead, get your fish. That one was a lob. He ain't close to the boat, too. Well, yes and no. The boat was flying so fast in the wind <laughs> that before I caught up to him and got squared away with him, it's an old 20 or 21. Good fish, huh? Swimming caffeine shad's tough to beat. Oh boy. Captain Danny Allen, great day on the water, my thank friend. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Absolutely Always enjoyed fun. it. Lisa, oh, so thank good you. To Thanks. You. It was great. Enjoyed it. If you're coming to Horseshoe Beach or Cedar Key, Florida, and we certainly hope you do, this is the guy you want to fish with, Captain Danny Allen. All you got to do is give me a call. 1-866-GAMEFISH is the number. For more great fishing info, log on to the website, realanimalsfishingteam.com. Remember, you can follow me on Facebook at Facebook slash Real Animals. And until next week, whatever you do, don't let your kid be the one that got away. Real Animals Fishing Show has been brought to you by Mosaic, helping the world grow the food it needs.